I travel all around the country, and every time I do this, I get a chance to meet really great folks. I came in here about two or three days earlier on a Wednesday, and kind of rolled into town, but I've done a lot of research on your town beforehand. I, I went online and, and kind of looked at your newspaper, uh, The Globe. Uh, I, I kind of like that newspaper. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. Uh, they're one of our sponsors, by the way, so I'm going to talk about them a lot. Anyhow, um, so anyway, I come here to this town, but I'll let you know my show right now that you're going to be seeing. There'll be no sticks and stones and no broken bones, and no one will be going wild here and, uh, you know, with no hit below the belt, no sucker punches. The only thing we're going to be doing here is having a lot of good, clean fun. So I hope you're ready for that as well. Now, by the way, um, just in case you know, I won't be responsible for anything I say. <laughs> if I say anything that, that offends anybody, you're going to have to talk to your local state officials or your politicians. They're used to being complained that. Anyway, uh, that was just another thing I did the second day I got here. I got a chance to go to your town meeting. That was fun. Uh, anybody here? Were they at that thing? Anybody here at that thing? Okay, great. All right. Anyhow, <laughs> it's all right, folks. It's okay. I got a really good nap in. Anyway, so I was at this thing, and, 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 and Jim said to me, he goes, you know, Will, I, I really appreciate that you want to kind of get to know our town and everything, but it's kind of a sleeper. I don't mean that to be bad, he said, but, you know, it, it's definitely something. We're going to be talking about a lot of community stuff. I said, that's why I want to hear it. I want to hear what's going on here. And you'll be happy to know I'm bringing back this news that they, they're really close to approving that AstroTurf on the football field. Ooh, moment of silence. <laughs> yeah, all us artsy people are glad to hear that one. Anyway, maybe they'll buy us a room for the, for the theater. In any case, uh, thank you. Uh, now, one of the other things I noticed when I was looking through the newspapers and everything with, with your town is there was one thing that I kept hearing about over and over and over again. I was reading the newspaper online. I was looking at it. Every time I clicked it, I'd see something about this. And I kept thinking to myself, you know what? There must be something wrong. They're not updating this site. They don't have a big stack or something. They're not updating it. Because every time I turned the pages on this thing, I kept seeing the same thing about a racetrack. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Silence. Anyhow. <laughs> dirt. Hey, dirt. Asphalt. Dirt, I don't want to say that wrong, dirt and asphalt. I'll get sued or something. I'll say it not right. Anyway, dirt asphalt, dirt asphalt. It's like the McCoys and the Hatfields. I mean, everybody's just screaming about it. every time I see it, there's someone writing something about the dirt of the asphalt. But I want to let you folks know that don't worry about it because nothing's set in stone. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw a couple of people making notes for the next meeting. Will said, I can see the newspaper tomorrow. It'll say, Will Roberts said, how about stone? <laughs> Anyhow, so uh, it, it, I figured the best thing we could probably do with that is maybe we could, I got a plan. I always got plans, you know. And by the way, if you don't like my plans, it's okay to take parts of it if you like the plan. Kind of like I call it the common sense plan. And the plan is this. What we do is we get that AstroTurf thing put in, right? But you know, it's costing an awful lot of money, a couple hundred thousand dollars, something like that for, for fake grass. I'll give you five bucks for seeds and go for it. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, thanks. Anyway, and what we do is we take the extra after turf, right? And we put it where the racetrack is going to go. And we'll have astro turf instead of all that other stuff. And then that way they look really pretty. They'll slide a lot on that stuff. And that way we just have astro turf. And at night, when we're not doing the races, we could do a football game. Or maybe a soccer game. Or who knows, our kids can play them. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just thinking it might be a good idea. Anyway, uh, one more thing I want to address. I kind of said it earlier. I will be spinning this at some point, but right now I'm just building the suspense. Anyway, um, one more thing I want to let you know about, and I said it earlier, is the political correct thing. Politically correct, you know, I, I don't understand when we model ourselves after politically incorrect. How those two words end up in the same sentence is beyond me. In any case, we're just kind of shooting from the hip here, and if anything doesn't work, it's all right. Just take it like it's like spam. You throw it up against the wall, and eventually something will stick, okay? All right. Now, now I told you I've been roaming around your town. I had a great time. I had a chance to visit a bunch of people. Today, I had a really good time. I had a chance to go visit Marshall Allen Bailey uh, when he wasn't on stage. So I got a chance to see whether or not he was a real fella or not, right? We drove to Garden City. Now, I want to let you know, this is the first time I've ever seen snow Go sideways. <laughs> like, 
Jim, am I saying this right? It's pretty much going sideways. And because you know, Jim, I don't know if any of you know this. How many of you know he's a, he was a meteorologist? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't believe him. All right. Anyway. So anyway, he said, yeah, because yesterday he told me, he goes, oh, you know what, but they don't know. And don't let me discredit you, Jim, wherever you are. Oh, wait, he's running my cues. Anyway, <laughs> hey, he said to me yesterday, he goes, well, don't worry about it. Just going to slide right by us. Oh, very funny. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I'm a dead shot with my six shooter, right? <laughs> All right. Anyhow. Uh, he said to me, he goes, uh, don't worry about it, it's going to pass right by us, we're not going to have a problem at all. It comes like this, it goes like this, and he started talking like a weatherman. <laughs> and I go, what's the end result here? He goes, it's going to be fine, it'll come right by us, it'll blow by us. <laughs> anyway, I woke up this morning, it was, I swear it was blue, I could have been dreaming. And then a half an hour later, and I figured out why this is happening, but a half an hour later, you've got torrential rains going on here with snow and everything, right? And I figured out why, it's that darn, that darn... <laughs> Air thing. You got more wind in this city than I've ever seen anywhere else. <laughs> I figured out, I figured out why you folks don't wear cowboy hats. <laughs> this got baseball hats, everybody's walking around town going, you gotta get them. And their heads are tipped down. <laughs> it's all physics. 